Well, we are here in St. Petersburg, Florida for rounds three and four of the Indy Lights Championship. Friday, we rolled out for Quali 1 and Quali 2 and had a little bit of a difficult start to the weekends, qualifying 11th and 12th for both races. And, you know, starting in the back in Indy Lights is tough. It's a deep field of drivers, so moving forward is definitely difficult, especially on a street circuit. So race one started 12th, and actually on the start, we had an issue when, you know, three quarters of a straightaway behind the leaders and when the green flag was thrown and had to catch back up. Luckily, there was enough mayhem on the first lap that we were able to close that gap fairly quickly. Um, but from there, it was pretty much just survival. You know, I, I got a position in the early laps, and then from there, it was chasing down Saravalli. Ended up getting him on the restart, and then, you know, it's just a matter of survival here at St. Pete because when the tires go away, especially on a street course, you know, there's not much room for air. There's walls instead of runoff areas, and when other drivers were making mistakes, we were moving forward. Today we started uh, 11th in race number two and we had a pretty clean start but in turn eight and nine we actually got a little bit of contact I think with the driver behind us and uh, it was just enough to puncture the tire so going down the back straightaway I, I noticed that the car felt kind of loose um, and that's not really something that's comforting at 140-ish miles an hour and heading down into turn 10 I had some serious lockup. I knew that there was an issue with the car but you know breaking early still wasn't enough to get it slowed down in time to make the corner so got stuck in the runoff there and actually finished our race early. So in May, we're heading back to IMS for the road course there, and uh, last year was unbelievable. You know, we won the triple header there in Indy Pro 2000, and you know, I'm hoping that we can do the same. And the team's done really well there in Indy Lights in the past. Renus VK and Victor Franzoni were both quick when they ran there, and I think that we have a good data baseline to work from. And you know, obviously, it's a, a good step forward from this weekend. You know, St. Pete was a weekend to forget, to say the least, and I think that we'll have a good break, reset, and uh, focus on getting the results in, in IMS.